channel welcome to this week's video as you can see we are looking hella cute today and i'm gonna be showing you guys how to achieve the soft summer look i'm gonna give you be giving you some tips and tricks on how to get smooth skin a dewy finish and to make sure that your makeup lasts longer in summer but with that being said please note that every single product that is going to be used in this video is going to be in the description box and if i leave anything out which i think i won't please don't be afraid to drop me a comment and i will respond as soon as i can and i'd like to say thank you guys for the response in my last video you guys are spicy you guys are spicy. I can already see the MKH game. It's gonna be spicy. I, I love a bit of spice. I love a little curry in my life. So it's all good. Um, thank you guys. Carry on watching. Tell those who haven't watched the how often totally daba. Don't you want to know what's going on? So if this video is something that you definitely want to see, enjoy this video on summer soft skin. Okay, so the first thing I start with is um, sunscreen and I actually got this sunscreen today because I've been having an issue with the other sunscreen that I've been using that they leave a purple cast like I just look purple and I was like that is the ghetto so I use sunscreen in winter and I use in summer as well and it's good to have sunscreen under your makeup so that the sun doesn't penetrate through and make your dark mouths darker and give you pigmentation so sunscreen is a must like a must a must a must and then i've just recently learned the two finger method from um i'm not sure what's her name but i know her handle is woman of color makeup or something like that but i will put her her details in the description box and don't worry so what she said that we should do is we must put two fingers okay like so and that's how much sunscreen we should be applying on our face so just gonna do that seems seems like a lot but And this um, was this sunscreen was recommended by um, my followers on on Twitter. Thank you so much, you guys. You guys have saved my life. Um, if everyone who rec and this was like the most popular choice. Oh wow! Look at that. I'm gonna bring it down to my neck as well. Can't leave the neck. that these dark marks don't get darker mm, look at that nice and moisturized because one thing that I've realized what I like about um, summer makeup is the dewiness but I also don't like it when the face looks like it's got a lot of excess oil like it makes me feel like I am going to freak out I need my skin to be moisturized like I need to look like a glazed donut child like I you know what the skin is moisturized so I am going to go in with these um, photo ready primers from um, Revlon so what I will do is I will have them pop up on the screen so don't worry if you can't see them I'm still trying to figure out how to bring products close to the camera and have the camera focus without things going blurry um, chat listen technology is not my friend okay I'm trying to befriend it but it's like it looks like it's rejecting my friendship request but we move so the first one I'm going to start with is the brightening and skin tone evening. So I'm just going to put a pea size on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to use the perfecting and, smooth, and smoothing uh, primer. So I'm going to also put a pea size of that on the back of my hand. So what I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with the brightening and even skin tone. So, and I'm going to focus on my T-zone. Because that is the part, honey, that I want 
to get all of that moisture in because usually that's the part of my skin that also get like super 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 dry bring that all up there just massaging it on my skin oh yummy then i'm gonna go in with the perfecting and soothing primer and i like to put that just under my eyes because that's the part that sometimes gives me a bit of problem when it's time for concealer. So now, the next thing is foundation. So, me being the person that I am, I love to see which foundations work for which season. So for spring, summer, I actually saw that the foundations that are good from the top of my head is the Double Wear, um, the Double Wear Long Lasting Foundation from Estee Lauder, Estee Lauder, Estee Lauder, Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder, yes, um, so the double wear is very good for summer because it's long lasting, doesn't melt off your skin and the Bobbi Brown um, foundation that I've been using that I showed you in my uh, previous video, so it's the Skin Long Wear Weightless Foundation with SPF 50. This foundation is absolutely amazing, so I'm going to pop this foundation at the back of my hand and then I'm going to pop it onto my skin and it's going to apply easier because the skin is nice and moisturized I'm a, and moisturizer is very important this foundation is the bomb.com you guys and I love that coverage is buildable depending on how, how much coverage you want that's completely up to you but me I love to put a reasonable amount on it because I love I love when the makeup is makeup I love it. I just love it. And as you can see, you guys, I'm, I'm sure you guys probably know this. Like, whenever you're putting on makeup, please don't, you know, because your makeup will be streaky. Always make sure that you dab it in to the skin. Like this. Bobby Brown, you did a real thing proper. You did a real thing proper, Bobby. Bobby Brown. Oh, and the nice thing I love about this is that it's oil free and it has a shine control, which is great because it means that in summer when we're sweating and stuff, like our faces are not gonna look oily when using this foundation. Because I've realized with other foundations, especially foundations that are you like usually designed for dry skin, they have like this oiliness to them and then you leave the house, you're looking fine. By the time you get to wherever you're going, you, your face has built up so much oil. And you know what? I, I can't deal. Literally, they can use the fake, the oil on your face to fry an egg. Malfiga Pambi. Just as for my hand. Honestly, it's like, nah. So it's either you can do two things. It's either you can wait for it to sort of set, sort of air it out. Or you can go in with your face powder, something very lightweight, and just go over your face. I like to go in with the face powder, and this is the Benefit Hello Happy Velvet Powder Foundation. So, um, this is in the shade number 8. I am a number 8 if you're interested in that. And then I love to just take my brush and sort of just go into the places that I feel like I didn't really reach with my foundation, or it looks a bit oily, and I love to just, you know dab this on and the reason for this is because it takes away like that excess oil that i don't want but i don't put too much i don't set it too much because i'm still gonna put my concealer and i don't want this messing with the, that step of concealer because i also want my concealer to be like velvety smooth you see, don't don't say that I'm not giving you guys a makeup tutorial because I did say I promised you on the very first video I promised you that I'm gonna give you a makeup tutorial and this is the makeup tutorial. But I've actually figured out that my channel is gonna be more lifestyle. Oh, it's gonna be so fun. And then I always look at my nose because some, my nose is the part that I miss the most. That I miss the most, and oh. Start with my face and then my brows and my eyes it works easier for me this way I used to start with my eyebrows and then I just felt like my makeup didn't tie in together you know it just didn't give me that thing but now that I started my face I feel like it gives me a more cleaner finish and a more like it's more like 
Yeah, flow, man. Everything is just flowing. Okay, so the two concealers that I like to use is the Colorstay Full Coverage Concealer in the shade 055, which is chestnut, and then the Maybelline Fit. <laughs> I dropped it. And the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade number 10. So this one is the lighter one. So what I like to do is sort of start with it and then use it on the corners of my corners of my eyes like that you guys can see then i like to go in like that as well and then go in at the end like that and just to clarify like i saw someone thought that my surname was mukarel or something or mukarel or makati something like that my surname is definitely mukize <laughs> so please okay slightly dab some people wait for their uh, concealer to sort of dry a bit. So what I like to do is I like to blend it like that first and then leave it and then go to the other eye. You know what you guys, I, I really need to get my blinds put up in my beauty room because literally my top neighbor who's like across is literally getting a free makeup tutorial. Imagine. I like to go into my smile lines as well, just because I've got smile lines. And they, they, a trick for your smile lines is actually shaving your face. They less visible when you do that. They crease your makeup creases less. I just haven't had time to go and do any um, derma planning. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, derma planning. See. Everything must flow, you guys. Everything must be smooth. Even, even your hand, it needs to be soft. You're dealing with something that is very fragile. So you can't be <coughs> rough. You need to be soft. It, it, it needs to be soft. It needs to be caressing. Like you are loving on your face. So. And it just smells on your skin. Because, again, I go back to the, to the base. Because you put sunscreen and you put your face moisturizer, whatever that is, and your in your primers, everything flows. It flows like the river. It flows. And then I love to leave my nose for last. No specific reason, I just do. And then I will go in now with this um, photo ready candid anti pollution setting spray. I will setting setting powder, setting spray, and this is in the shade banana. And then I'm just gonna set. I'm not baking yet. I don't think I'm gonna bake though. I I don't think I'm gonna bake. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how we feel. See how this look comes out. So I like to do that, and then then I like to get an angled brush. sort of sweep it just to set it make sure that it's nice and set and even then I'm just very gentle with my face like the way you treat your boyfriends and your and your situationships you are so gentle with them please do the same with your face you're not laugh with them I mean so don't be rough with your face come on Go into my smile lines. I'm gonna go back to my my nose. I'm gonna go back to my nose. And because I leave my nose last, the the concealer lasts longer. And say so now you know like when you sweat in summer when you're wearing sunglasses, it always feels like your nose is like the first place to lose the makeup. So if you keep the concealer longer, it becomes a bit more drier and it stays longer. So I'm teaching you guys a technique because I want to get as much product on my nose because for me, my nose is the most problematic area when it comes to keeping makeup. It's like, I even avoid wearing sunglasses in summer because I'm just like, oh, this is going to remove half of the makeup on my nose. Okay. And then because I don't like looking white, I'm gonna go back with my foundation brush, the brush that I use for foundation, just to sort of remind my face, OT, 
Hey, there's my new home. You might not spot a significant difference, but I just love going back to this because I love it when my face has like different dimensions. I don't, I don't like it when my face is like white. The point is not to look white. The point is to look as natural as you can with a full beat, honey. Then I love to go in with the Hula from Benefit, and this is a matte bronze, one of the best bronzes. It's literally perfect for my skin. I use it religiously. Like, I love Hula. I love Hula so much. Like, I love it. So, one thing that I also really like to do in summer, I love it when my skin is very soft. I love it when the makeup is soft, when everything flows. So, I'm not going to contour. I'm just going to use the hula to give my face structure and dimension. I don't want it to be too big because this would probably be a look that I would wear in the daytime. But if it's nighttime, honey, oh, trust and believe, that cheek is going to be ah, like a knife. So I just have to poke up my cheeks. And then start from here and then go into the hula and bring it back. Already there's color, then go again and make sure you really blend it into your skin. Like that. Yeah, so. Oh, you guys, the softness of it all! I am a huge advocate for soft, soft makeup. Then you go into your chin because you just want your chin to have some some structure, you know. Then you go into your jawline like that. And as you can see, you guys, I'm not rubbing. I'm not trying to rub anything off. I'm just dabbing everything into my skin. I'm just loving onto my skin. Look at that. And then. We can never leave the forehead. We'd rather leave everything like that. And then again, I leave I leave my my nose for last, for last. And then I'm gonna go in with um, this uh, Island Glow palette from Chick Cosmetics. So just a bit. It is a bit dark so i'm just gonna put a bit i don't want to put a lot because i don't want it to sort of overpower every the softness so i have removed my hairband just because i don't need it anymore so usually i'll put on a hairband when i'm starting with like my primers and all of that because i don't want all of that getting into my lace because trying to clean it up, child, a whole mess. So as you can see now, my skin is looking fresh. If I want to leave the house like this, I can do it. Like put on some lip stuff and adios. But we're going to carry on. So now we're going to focus on your brows. And as you can see, you guys, like this is super easy. Like if you can take one thing away from my technique and my style of makeup and my style of teaching makeup it every everything to me i try my utmost best to simplify it because i can understand that sometimes you just want to snatch your face and make it look professional without complicating anything so that is my biggest goal to make sure that everything that i do is always just a bit simplified so now i'm gonna go in with a brow gel benefit cosmetics and it's just clear brow gel and i love brow gel because it keeps your eyebrows intact keeps them in place child so i love to do this before i contour my nose just to give it time to dry while i'm making sure that i'm bringing in a cal so I like to just sort of lay it flat, not comb them really. So it's like I'm sort of like pasting it onto to the brow just to make sure that the brow is nice and flat. I see people use um, got to be glued as well. Um, the, the, the got to be uh, glued gel uh, to have a more um, feathered brow look. 
so I guess that also works but what I like to do is just use the brow styler and lay it, um, the, the clear brow gel sorry and lay it flat on my brows and don't worry about the parts where your foundation is kind of lifting you can just always clean that up it's not a train smash so my technique still counts for um still counts if you start with your with your eyebrows so you can do exactly the same technique even if you start with your eyebrows it's not exclusive to starting with face before brows just to put that out there so don't panic you know you can you, you can still you can still rock on okay uh also i'm not used to myself with black hair so i'm just like <laughs> I like to go in with an angle brush like this it's just an angle brush and because it I love how it hits the corners and always make sure that your brushes are soft it's easier to manipulate them on your face because if you use a hard brush it, it, it's gonna leave harsh lines so with my nose I don't I don't I don't go in lightly child I, I go in so I love to just start it there and sort of bring it down And then I like to tap, tap all the products into the skin. Into that space of the curve where your, where there's a curve, this part where your eye is curved, your nose is curved, sorry. Love to bring it in there, like that. And then I'd like to go in with the Revolution Makeup Luxury Banana Powder. So basically, I've decided I'm not gonna bake, but I will. I do like to go in with two different setting powders, and this is just like a smidge lighter because I love it when my under eye is light. And then I'm sort of just gonna dab it into the skin like that. Just to make sure that nothing lifts and one thing that i really love about this banana powder it's got more of like a an orangey yellow yellow undertone so it gives my face color instead of the other one it's great for sort of setting and this one is great for baking because it's got that orange yellowy tone that just sort of gives you more color and doesn't make you look white then I love to just go over my brows as well, just to mattify them. Just because I my brows they tend to sweat, and then it's like an oil buildup on my brows. So I love to go over them with just a bit of powder, and then of course to go in my nose, just to make sure that everything is intact. Mine is Katso Debushi. So I love to use this uh, Revlon Colorstay Brow Creator and this is in the shade Soft Black. Um, this, is, this is amazing. If I would compare it to something, I would compare it to the Benefit Precisely My Brow in the shade number 5 or 5.5. Um, I love Precisely My Brow Benefit. That's one of my... It's one of the products that I've been using for years and it was very good to see Revlon coming up with something similar, something easy to use. And what I love with it is that you can roll it up and down. It's very fine and small. And then it also has a spoolie at the back to brush your brows. So I love it to in one child. Like I love it. I love it. And then with my brows, um, I have a different, I have a sort of a different technique now, but it's still the same thing essentially. So instead of starting with drawing the line, now I like to draw the strokes and then the line. But literally, if you watch my brow, my brow tutorial, you will see like this is the same thing, but with makeup, you tend to like do things as you go and you learn new tricks as you go. And then once I've drawn my lines, then I'm just gonna 
then to add drawing my strokes and then I'll add it to do that. Bring it down. if you want to draw a line on top or not but I think for me just gonna leave it as is and sort of pull those strokes just to give my brow a more feathered literally like look. there you go simple I told you everything is like super simple with me then I'm gonna go back with my concealer the chestnut in the shade 055 and this is the shade that was dark and then i'm gonna obviously take my concealer brush from my brows and just start cleaning it up What you do to A must always do to B. Clean that. Oh, girl. Then I just like to put the rest of the product all over my eye. Like that. Just to make sure that it's there. So if you can notice, like I'm keeping the product in the middle of the eye and I just blend in everything. And you know what? I try and make sure that I follow the shape of my contour. But if I mess up, like I don't even stress myself, I can go I can always go back in. Like any any excuse to contour my nose child. Then I'm going to go in with the setting powder and I'm just going to set my eyes because I don't want my concealer to crease and I want it to stay intact. And then there you have it. So usually for me, in summer I don't like wearing eyeshadow so I would probably just like buy I'm when put on like some lashes and I'm out of the door. But for the purposes of this video, so I'm gonna be using this palette from Chick Cosmetics. It's a South African black owned brand and it's called, this palette is called Road Tripping. So um, they have a shade over here. They have a shade here and this, the name of the shade is Belito. I'm gonna start with that as my base color. And I think I'm just going to keep it with your nudes. So I, I want to keep this look very nude. So I'm just going to start at the corner of my eye like that. And bring the eyeshadow forward at the on my brow bone. So I don't have hooded eyes. But if you do have hooded eyes, the best way to do it is sort of to press down on your eye until you feel the bone. Keep your finger there. Take your brush and sort of start from there. So I'm going to show you. So since I'm right-handed, this, this is what I'll do. So if I was hooded, if I had a hooded eye, I would do this. Then keep my hand there and then sort of bring it like that and keep the brush on your eye. So just because you don't want to lose your place. So yeah. And then I'm going to go in with this shade over here and this is the shade Wilderness and I'm not going to put too much just because it's quite strong so you can see like it's, it's very pigmented. Um, I still want to keep my eye quite cool so make sure that it is blended. Sort of 
contouring my eye. Yes, that. I don't want too much. As I said, I'm not doing the most. I'm going to a day event. I want my face to look dewy. I want it to look pashash. I want it to look nice. I don't want anything interfering with my face. Then the next step is going to be mascara. Um, if you notice that I'm not going to put any eyeliner, I'm probably going to put some after uh, I put on my lashes. But that all depends on you and how well you've blended in the two lashes together. So I like to put mascara and I like to start from the bottom to the top just because like my lashes are very permed. So if I start from the top, like it's gonna, it's gonna dirty everything. So I like to start from the bottom. And this mascara is the Sophia's by Revlon. It's really good. And I also like a rubber brush. I don't like the brushes that are not rubber. I always feel like those are so messy. So I always make sure that my mascaras have a rubber brush because it just applies the mascara better. Look at that. And this look, bro, I could, I could literally go out without lashes. It would still look fire. Just put a bit of mascara on my bottom lash without like dirting anything. Eyes really all on the why. That's so unlike like so unusual. I don't I don't have a problem with like real eyes. My lashes are on. But because I was busy fiddling with this eye, now it's like red. No, I just like to go over everything that I feel like my other stuff didn't hide. Make sure that there is no peekaboo of any sort. Also just going a bit into my hairline. You know, just dab it into the skin, honey. Told you, we need to be gentle with the skin so just make sure that you also blend the sides like you go into my smile lines into my nose because my nose always wants to be right every time when i when i do my makeup my nose is like yeah this is also our chance and i'm just like why do you like attention look at that look at how pretty you look so i love to go in just just a smidge of blush not a lot, you don't want to look orange, but I do, I did learn that if you're going to be on camera where there's a lot of light, this makeup will do because the whole situation will drown out your makeup. So you have more, less is not more on camera, like more is more, but this is just like one light. So nothing's going to drown out anything. So I just put a significant amount and then sort of tap it there, tap it there and then rub it off at the back of my hand and blend it into my skin like so just because blush like makeup is not complete without blush child and in summer you need to make sure that your cheeks are rosy also make sure that you rub it in don't do what i almost did where you are like sort of forcing it oh my god nothing is complete without some spray and this is from revolution uh, makeup and this is the hyaluronic fix so I like to spray Ooh, and this is hydrating and plumping so literally like it gives your face like a little a plumperoo which is actually perfect like the whole thought of like my face being a bit plump is is amazing to me it's like it's like surgery without the actual surgery genius and i'm gonna go in with the mac lip pencil i would <laughs> i need a guy sorry this needs to finish before i buy a new one i'm sorry and then i'm gonna go in with this I'm super lustrous the class and this is in the shade um, Supernatural. So I'm just gonna. Ooh, look at that. 
So this is like sort of like a, a natural tone. So this shade you can wear it even without out makeup. And then I love to mix it with the Chick Cosmetics a gloss. It looks like that. And it is like beige. So just. Oh! I told you we are going for a more nude look. So, of course, it needs to have a nude finish. And then I'm going to go in with this Revlon Skin Lights uh, Prismatic Highlighter. Oh, this was made for me, child. Just a bit. Also, guys, I always see people putting so much highlighter on their chin. It's literally supposed to be just a smidge. And I've now put a lot. So I'm going to put more. Then... So pretty. Just a bit. And voila! <laughs> Look at that. Soft, natural, beautiful, dainty, girly, lovely, fabulous, rich bitch, rich hun, rich love, rich girl, luxury, leisure, opulent, everything nice, everything smooth everything a sweet baby look at that there you have it guys a, a summer soft summer look with soft hair as well i didn't go for the curls because you know when it's hot curls don't really stick and then you end up having to put a lot of products in your hair and it's just a disaster child so what I decided to go with is like very soft hair, as you can see, very dainty, very cute, very, very girly, very clean, absolutely no product in the hair whatsoever. Um, if you do feel like you've got flyaways, just like spray a bit of water on your hair and then pat it down. But this is what I am going to be looking like all summer. And I'm hoping to see you guys looking exactly exactly the same way. I will see you guys on my next video. Continue to subscribe, road to 5k. And thank you for watching my latest, my last, my last video. I will see you guys soon. Bye.